Okay, listen up, everybody. I'm going rogue right now, so keep your voices down. Available now. We got a bunch of these. That, of course, Tina Fey's Emmy Award-winning portrayal of former vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin during the 2008 presidential campaign, and fittingly, Going Rogue. Well, that's the title of Sarah Palin's soon-to-be-released memoir. The 400-page chronicle will hit the shelves in November, November 17th specifically, just four months, four, after her book deal was announced to the public. NBC's chief Washington correspondent, Nora O'Donnell, and Politico's executive editor, Jim Van De Hai. Thank you both. Nora, let me start off with you. Uh, uh, how much do we know that Sarah Palin is willing to reveal? I mean, I think that is the hook here. Yeah. How willing is she to tell it all? Well, I think the title may give us an indication that she has appropriated this term that was used during the campaign to mock her, to suggest that she was off the reservation, that she had disagreed repeatedly with McCain's advisors. The, the idea that she's now taking that title and using it um, for her memoirs, I think, is pretty revealing. Um, what I know is that you know she was able to bang this out in four months um, by working around the clock furiously, as one source close to her told me, um, and she could not have done this if she were still governor of Alaska. So by stepping down as governor, that allowed her to free up her time to take her whole family to San Diego in August and really work on this full time to get this done immediately. And of course, her publishers thrilled mm -hmm. because now they're going to be able to put out a million and a half copies just after, just right before Thanksgiving in time for the holiday book buying season. Right. Just a great holiday gift that you can give to someone. Jim, let me ask you about the four month timeline. Right. We looked it up 400 pages. That's around what uh, Barack Obama, Audacity of Hope, uh, that was about 460. 62 pages. Bill Clinton's memoir, 1,000 plus pages. So she's falling in the range of Obama. But it is four months a short period of time to spend in, in, in what could be very pivotal. What this book says could make or break her political future, some say. No, it's real fast to turn around for a book. Uh, you know, the question is how much time she, she spent on it and, and how much research she actually had to do. I think this is very much about her life story and sort of everything through her eyes. So I don't think that takes a tremendous amount of work other than uh, writing it and thinking about your thoughts on different issues. I do think they want to but get this thing out. But you got to be careful because they're your thoughts, but those are the thoughts that can come back to haunt you or be used right. against you if she you so choose to jump into uh, right. the political ring in a couple of years from now. Uh, she doesn't seem too concerned about that if you yeah. watch uh, a lot of her, her public comments. I think part of her appeal uh, to Republicans is that she does speak her mind and sometimes says things that seem politically incorrect or politically mm. stupid in the eyes of some folks. But if we, we had a story out today where we, we talked to 50 different leaders, uh, Republican leaders in different states, because I feel there is a disconnect between D.C., who sort of snickers about her, right. and Republicans out there in different states. And almost every one of those Republicans said that they like her a lot, mm -hmm. that, that, she, that she has more enthusiasm for her than any other potential 2012 candidate, and that if she shows up, she can raise more money. If mm -hmm. she shows up, she can turn out more people. So that vir virtually guarantees that her book's probably going to sell very well, and that the amount that people are going to have to pay to get her to give a speech is probably going to go up. Right. So she's going to profit from all of this, both financially, but also profit politically. She's very well positioned to use that power, to use her, her appeal to go and, and really sort of raise a profile and raise money for different uh, for different candidates sure. and position herself if she chooses to run. I, yeah. I, do I think she'll run? Probably not. But if she does choose to run, this gives her a pretty good platform. Nora, I'm curious. Uh, do you think or do we know if she will talk about things, for example, like her daughter um, getting pregnant? I know that uh, Levi Johnson, of course, he wrote that article for Vanity Fair and made a lot of uh, awful accusations mm -hmm. about her. Will she take this opportunity to strike back or is this all about maybe her thoughts on the direction of the country which she has said recently uh, in that speech she gave abroad let me first say that that I've asked that question to people who have read this book and who worked with her on this book and they would not reveal my own sense and just reporting on Sarah Palin for a long period of time is that she does not specifically address mm -hmm. Levi Johnston because she's sort of been like that guy is dead to me I mean that's wow. pretty much the campaign has been like I don't want to talk about him anymore they're not happy with the way that he has tried to capitalize on his relationship with the Palins. I think she probably does address her daughter's um, pregnancy. I also think that she will reveal um, some things that have never been heard before about what happened behind the scenes, about mm. going rogue, about her disagreements, and about her relationship with the press. Remember that Sarah Palin uh, and her campaign
campaign believes fundamentally that the press uh, is out to get her, has not been fair to her. Right. Um, and so I think that she does go on and address that in the book. I don't have any inside information about that other than uh, just my own sense of things, but I bet there's a lot of that in this book. Yeah, I think, go Cameron, ahead. can I just say one sure, thing? I think, I think Nora is right. Like, listen, to sell a book, you have to be somewhat provocative and mm. somewhat revelatory. She's probably not mm. going to do that in her personal life, her family life, for the obvious reasons. So where, the place you can do that is inside the campaign. And she only yeah. benefits from that because conservatives, especially those with a libertarian streak, don't like Democrats. But guess what? They don't like Republicans in Washington either. Right. They feel like they came here and spent money like drunken sailors. They feel like they sold out the party. So when she runs against McCain in the book or she writes things against McCain, that only makes her more popular and allows her to probably sell yeah. more books. So look for that to be the place where she's provocative. Well, the Maverick yeah. spawned the rogue, and now the rogue has a book, and we'll see what happens. <laughs>